Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here. Today we are going to go through how you can visualize which customer groups are contributing the most to your profits. Now there's a few steps we have to go through honestly to get to this point, um, but it's a really great piece of analysis. If you think about, uh, you know, if you wanted to track through time, how, how much are your top five customers contributing to your profit? or or your top 20 customers uh, contributing to profit, or your bottom 50 customers contributing to your profits. You can use the same techniques we go through today to actually do, do that analysis. Uh, now, so, and, and what's also cool is uh, through Power BI and, and by util utilizing the data model, you can create this dynamic uh, visual of this, so a visualization of this. So for example here, in this visualization, we're looking at well, what is the contribution of the top five, rank five to 20 and the rest. But what we can also do is click through each product that we sell, right, and see see the difference for each different product. And so very quickly you can see, well, some products are being um, totally dominated by, you know, top five in that particular product, but it's probably because just not much actually sells with that particular product, uh, so on and so forth. Whilst if we go to a high selling product, it's a bit more distributed. So those are the kind of um, really great insights that you can actually get from this type of analysis. Okay, so let's start from scratch and work through how you can actually get to this point. So we'll just get rid of uh, this one to the side here. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to set up some simple calculations. Obviously, we've got to uh, we've got to calculate what our total. So we've got to get to total profits first. So in in the current model here, uh, I've got total sales, um, and then we go minus total costs, and that's what equals our total profits, as you can see up see up here. So, and this is a good point to remind you that this will be made available through the Enterprise DNA training portal. So the details for that are going to be below in the description. You can access this and all the other uh, training materials from e basically every other video that is uh, that has been put out by Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do, let's, let's just jump to our data model here and you'll see that, you'll see that we've got our uh, our core data model here, which goes, uh, which links the date table, products table, regions table, and customer, and that all goes down to our sales table. Every single transaction that is made is uh, in our sales table, and that's where we're doing our calculations over. Now, what we need to do in this case is we don't. If you think about it, we don't have we don't have anything in our model here, which so tells us well, who's the top five, who's the rank five to 20, and who's the rest. So we need to create it, we need to create it. And remember, we want it to be dynamic, right? So we need to create this table. And so what I've done in the background is I've created a table very quickly, which does that for us. So it says top five, min to min zero uh, rank, uh, max five rank, and then five to 20, uh, so on and so forth, and then, and then the rest. So what this is gonna do, we're gonna, through DAX formula, integrate this into our model, and this is going to dynamically rank customers based on whatever context uh, they are, uh, that, that calculation is in. So, instead of writing out the entire formula, what I've done is I've pre-built it here, and so I'm gonna show, I'm going to create it, and we're gonna, and we'll step through it. So, <clears throat> This is a similar technique that we've used previously, but here we are looking at customer profits by group, right? So I'm just gonna push enter. Let's quickly step through what's actually happening. So first of all, we're gonna calculate total profits. Remember, we've already got this measure. This is the total profits measure I showed you just earlier. But what we need to do is we need to see what rank each customer is in, and if they sit within each of those custom ranks that we just created in that table. And if they do, then they are then uh, then they are put into that group by the top five, rank five to ten, or the rest. And this is the logic that it runs through to actually create uh, or or to run those calculations. So now, what would happen if we just mock something quickly up here uh, via the date? So I'm going to drag that in. So this is going to list every single date for us. Looks like there's something wrong with the tables in the newest version of Power BI Desktop. So I'm just gonna delete that and I'm gonna create a visualization. I'm gonna create a chart here. So we'll create a chart over month and year. And if I go say total sales in here, you see that that's the total sales for each of those, those months, right? And if I drag in my customer groups here, uh, then that actually does not give me a cor correct result. If, these, if, you, if you really drill into these numbers, they're all exactly the same. 
So what we have to do is we have to use this customer profit by group. And so I'm going to drag that in and then this is actually delivering to us each of the profits per these ranking here, rankings here, right? So now if we put some data labels on that, add some data labels, oh, there's too much information for that to happen. So what we need to do is we need to actually drill into a more specific time frame. So I'll just do that here. So I'll just put a filter on. And so if I say drill into three months, uh, let's actually go to the last six six months of 2016 and now if I put some data labels on you'll see that this is ranking this is calculating the total profits uh, but then dividing it up per our customer group and that's because of this function here this formula here but now to get that chart and to, and to see the percentage all you need to do is actually change this visualization here to the 100% stat column chart and you see now that this is actually giving us this is actually giving us the percentage of sales that are to these custom groups. So if I just change up my visualization a little bit here, I'm gonna turn this into a drop down, And then I'm going to create another visualization which gives me my sales per product. So now this is a, uh, this calculation is automatically going to adjust based on whatever context we put it in. So if I adjust, um, all of the months here. So now I've only got all of 2016. You can see how things change for every different month. And now, but if I click uh, product one here, you'll see that uh, once I set up, sort out these interactions, you'll see now that we can dynamically see, well, from a percentage basis, how much of our profits are being determined by specific groups. Now, obviously, I've just realized that this is not. Um, because obviously there isn't that as many sales as there is on a more longer term time frame. So if I if I actually change this to quarter of year, it can change up the analysis somewhat. So uh, we could probably get rid of that there. And so you'll see here that that probably actually gives us a better uh, understanding of the data because there probably isn't enough sales for each product in in each individual month to make it um, to make it interesting. So what I've done is I've just made that quarters. And then if we uh, step through all the different products here, we can see, well, what's the makeup? What's the makeup of our sales through time for uh, makeup of our pro profits through time for each um, of our products that we sell? So we can look at it from an entire portfolio perspective, or we could even say drill into our top three products and see, well, there was a dip it looked like at the end of 2015 uh, in terms of our, our top clients weren't buying anything. We can ask, well, why was that? Why, why would more of our smaller clients, um, uh, a higher proportion of our smaller clients buying buying these products versus our, versus our larger customers? That could have been because um, your know, large customers wanted to push things inside the financial year or something like that, but obviously it's a really good discussion to, um, to have with your salespeople, your management, your executives, so on and so forth. Okay, so as a reminder, this this is uh, this entire model has been made available on the Enterprise DNA training portal. You just have to enroll and sign in. Um, but um, you know a lot you can learn, especially around the Dax formula. This is a really great technique that that can actually be reused in a number of different scenarios. So. Um, so I highly recommend diving into that and, and having a look at how you could actually utilize that yourself in some of the analysis that you're doing. 